another beautiful day in Iceland. Now, as you can probably see behind me is Vestraholm. And this is actually my third attempt in trying to get an image here. The first time I came here, which I think was back in 2017, I was here with a friend of mine for probably about an hour and a half. I didn't get one photo that I liked. I came back last year in March and when I arrived, blue skies. So again, I didn't get a photo that I liked. So I thought, as I'm gonna come back today, and this will probably be the last time that I ever visit here, unless I end up doing the ring road of Iceland, I thought I've got to be able to get a shot here today. Now, even though the conditions are far from perfect, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. It's incredibly windy. There isn't a great deal of light, but I do have uh, I do have a little bit of cloud. So these are probably the best conditions I've had in three visits. And if I can't get an image today, well, I'll probably never get an image. this is quite difficult to actually vlog because I just can't put the the uh, the vlogging camera down on the tripod and walk away from it so what I'm trying to do here and I'm gonna have to put my tripod in between my legs I don't want this going over but because the sky isn't particularly interesting I'm actually using these waves here now also, when it comes to thirds, I don't have a great deal of sky in this image because it's just not doing it for me, really. So there isn't, there isn't, definitely isn't a third of sky above the peak, but that's absolutely fine. It's not adding anything to this image. So, but what I do have is that tallest peak there that is on the on the right hand third and then I'm just waiting for these waves to come in and then recede and I've been playing around with various shutter speeds I've taken a couple at six seconds which I think was far too long I've now dropped it down um, to 0.6 of a second but I've had to put the little stopper on, but then I've had to raise my ISO. So there's a lot of trade-offs at the moment, but I'm gonna play around. The composition I'm gonna keep pretty much the same. I may move left and right a, a, a touch every now and again, but um, I'm just gonna change the settings and then I'll see what works best when I'm back behind the computer. Man, this is freezing here, so cold. Now I appreciate that this image isn't going to put me on the shortlist for landscape photographer of the year. In fact, I thought long and hard about releasing this video as there are so many wonderful photos of Vesterhorn online. I know any images that I share will be compared to images with better light and better conditions. In fact, as I said in one of my previous videos, and I'll put the link up to that now, there is no substitution for good light but I thought the image was worth sharing only if it demonstrates what can be done with some simple dodging and burning. If I open up the RAW file, you see that the image is completely flat 
and lifeless. This is obviously down to the conditions and poor light, but also because it's a raw file and it's there to be worked on. If I open up the process file again, you'll see by applying a burn to the higher sections of the mountain and a sweeping burn across the bottom, it gives the illusion that there was some light and gives the mountain a more 3D look. There wasn't a great deal happening in the sky, but again, by applying a simple contrast adjustment layer and a curves adjustment layer in Photoshop, this has just lifted the sky enough to give it a slightly moody feel. There is a little bit more interest. Not that you can see it on this camera, the highlights are blown, but there is a little bit more interest uh, in the sky above the peaks over there now. So I think maybe now's the time to try and find something and try and use this yellow grass to my advantage. Oh man, this is absolutely relentless, this wind, and it is bitterly cold. Now, I have had a walk around and I have found a composition. Now, I couldn't, it's quite difficult because obviously I'm leaving my own footprints. So every time I'm exploring and then I want to double back, I'm ruining the scene. So I found something here that I think will work. Now, I, there was only really one place to shoot and that was over the higher peak because that had the more interesting sky. Not that the sky was particularly interesting at all, but it was still better than shooting over the lower peak. I've turned my camera portrait. I'm not a big fan of portrait photography. I must prefer landscape, but I think in this instance, for me, portrait seems to work. I've angled the camera down ever so slightly, and that way I'm projecting more of this uh, these these grasses in the foreground so I think it's quite a heavy foreground with then the there's quite the striking aggressive mountain in the background with as, as little sky as I can actually get away with I've also bracketed this as I say I don't know if I'll actually use the bracketed shots but with these kind of conditions and being so far away from home I want as much data as possible so when I get back to post I've got plenty of options. Well I do think that I found one more composition. I'm not quite as hopeful as I was on the last image. I thought that might have looked okay actually, but I'm shooting the lower peak now and there's layers to these grasses and uh, I think they actually look okay. Now the sky is obviously completely void of any cloud. Um, and I've got the 16 to 35 on, and I really wish I had the 24 to 70, but there's no way I'm gonna to attempt to change the lens in this wind or walk all the way back to the car to do it. So I'm thinking, you know, I'll be able to crop this image, crop a little bit off the top, a little bit off the bottom, and it should be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna grab this image now, and I'm gonna call this a day. Apologies for all of the shaky handheld footage today, but you've seen the conditions, but I'm done. I do think Vesterhorn has probably beaten me again for the third time, but I do think that I've probably got my best images to date today. So I'm quite pleased with these. Anyway, I'm gonna say, as I always do, thank you ever so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video and see me getting blown all over the beach then please consider subscribing and also tapping that little notification bell for future videos but until my next video see ya